Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader on Xdo. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of Euro USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So the market is open and we can see that on the chart of DXY, selling is still going on. Sellers are still dominating the market. Okay, after the market opening, there was there was a pause. Okay, there was a pause, but market failed. And ultimately, there was a big drop on DXY, and right now DXY is struggling again. DXY right now standing at 104.13. As we have been discussing in our previous videos, that there is no immediate risk, uh, support on the chart of DXY. There are some minor supports around 103.50, but is there any proper support, strong support? No. So things are not very positive for DXY. Let's wait and watch if any news can come for the rescue of DXY. And as DXY is under uh, the dominance of sellers right now, so as a result, we are seeing good amount of recovery upside on the chart of Euro Dollar, GBP USD, Gold USD, and others. So let's look at the chart of Euro Dollar. So my dear friends, as we can see, Euro USD is just flying after the market opening. So if you're holding any buy position on the chart of Euro USD, then please hold the position. No need to do anything right now because, <clears throat> because market is extremely bullish. And if you have missed the train, okay, if you are looking for fresh entry, then sadly, my dear friend, I think that you should wait for some time. Because if you enter here right now, you can just see that your risk to reward ratio will not match. See, trading discipline is extremely important for any trader, not only to make money in the market, but to survive in the market. Okay, so discipline is the only thing that makes a trader profitable. So my dear friend, do not compromise with the discipline. If you, uh, if you're holding buy position, then awesome. But if you're not, then you please wait for some time. Because if we just analyze the overall structure of Euro USD right now, then you can see, that market is forming higher highs it means it is breaking the previous highs and going up and right now euro usd is standing at the top eventually it will have to come down if not now then after, maybe after a few hours by tomorrow but it will have to come down because market cannot go market cannot go up in a straight line or it doesn't go down in a straight line Okay, market always move in a zigzag pattern. So this is the not the right time because your risk to reward ratio will not match. Especially if you're a swing trader, positional trader, then obviously this is not the right time. And taking a sell position is out of the question because as we all know, trend is the one of the most important thing in a market. If you stand against the trend of the trend, if you stand stand against the trend of if you stand against the trend of the market then you are violating a very important rule so don't make the mistake and considering the present market situation you should mostly look for buy positions only but during the day okay during the day if you see market coming down then Obviously, the best retracement level is the trend line that is acting as a dynamic support for the market. So, my dear friends, if possible, try to draw a trend line like this. So, whenever market will be coming down, okay, observe the market around the trend line because this will be the best trading opportunity. But as we can see, the market is very bullish right now. So, the, uh, the chances of coming down to the trend line are very less. So, the next best retracement level will be 1.0480 1.0500 this was the previous resistance of the market and right now this will be the new uh, support for the market so in case market starts coming down 1.0480 1.0500 will be the best support for the market so especially for day traders or intraday traders, if market comes down, observe the market around this area. If you see market is taking support, market is forming hammer pattern, bullish engulfing pattern or anything like that, you get the confirmation that yes, the previous resistance is really acting as support and you can consider taking a buy position. Okay, This is our second retracement level. But market is extremely bullish. So as a result, okay, as a result, I have another level for you. And to derive the level, I had to take the help of the 15 minutes time frame. This is the 15 minutes time frame in front of us. And 
before I mentioned the level I would like to tell one thing that keep in mind this level has been derived from the 15 minutes time frame which is a lower time frame and lower time frames are not very reliable in comparison to the higher time frames so my dear friends this level will only work should only work when the volatility of the market is low volatility plays a big role in the market so during the Asian session and European session if you see the market uh, is trading like this only if you see the market is not much crazy then you can expect the market to take support around this level but in case market shows good amount of uh, correction market shows a big red candle then obviously do not expect the level to work because not all levels have the equal amount of strength in the market right now so the level is 1.05 double four or 1.0540 this is the this is a retracement level on the basis of the 15 minutes time frame especially during the day when the volatility of the market is low observe the market around this area if you see market taking support and bouncing you can go for a buy position okay you can go for a buy position and in case market breaks also do not take sell position immediately because market has opened somewhere around here okay so this will this whole level will be a support for the market okay in case market fails to bounce from here this will be the next support for the market that is 1.0527 okay so 1.0540 to 1.0527 this is a whole uh, minor support zone for the market during the day if market comes down and bounces you can consider taking a buy position but again i'll say Observe the volatility of the market and trade accordingly. Do not gamble with your hard earned money. Keep in mind, capital protection should be your first priority. Always. There are some news. This is economical. There are some news for Euro. So be careful. Okay, retail sales year on year, month on month. So, yes, there may be some volatility as well. So, please be careful and follow proper risk management and this is a forex sentiment meter we can see 77 percent retail traders are holding short position and only 22 percent retail traders have taken long position as we as we know that most of the time market move against the forex sentiment meter so yes there's a further upside possible on the chart of euro usd but be careful during the events there may be some unexpected volatility so please be careful and Please follow proper risk management. This is my analysis. I can be wrong as well. No trader is 100% accurate. So, bye-bye. Take care. See you tomorrow.